welcome back to my new video um this video we are going to uh create a python agent um that is going to go out there with um open ai and then we'll query the python agent for for it to create let's say a neural network for us and um these agents are very powerful so let's let's have a look how it works okay so let me create um and call it python agent uh with lang chain I'm going to do some few imports because i don't want to waste time um i'm just going to explain what is going on okay so this these are the imports okay um i don't think we need python repo so let's take that one out so we are importing um create python agent as well as python repo tool and our open ai okay so here we are going to add the api key Okay, so I'm going to paste that as well. This API key I'm going to delete after the video. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say main and then pass for now. So I'm just going to create the object, which is agent, um, agent exec. You can call it whatever you want. And then we're going to create a Python um agent and this python agent takes some parameters like the llm the large language model the tool which is going to be our python repo tool and um and then what else a callback and then verbos is true and all this stuff so um let me create the LLM is equal to open AI and then passing the temperature, let's say zero, and then the maximum tokens is 1000. And then we pass that in here, LLM is equal to LLM. And then the tool we are going to use is called Python. Um, Python repo, Python rep ID, Python repo to, okay, repo to, okay. Um, we are not going to pass in any parameter. We're going to leave it blank for now. Um, the next one we are going to add is uh, the boss is true. Once we create this object, we can now say, can now use the agent. Okay. So let's pass the agent and then say, agent exec dot run and then we're going to pass in our text okay so the text the text we are going to put in is what understand write a single neuron neural network in PyTorch, PyTorch. Take synthetic data for Y is equal to two X. Train a model for 1000 epochs 
and print every hundred epochs return prediction for x is equal to let's say seven which is the magic number so this is what we are asking um let me say this put this on a new line y is equal to x sorry not z okay so so let's put everything on new line say understand write and a single neural network in pytorch take the synthetic data for y is equal to 2x train a model for 1000 epochs and print every 100 epochs and then return a prediction for x is equal to 7 okay so this is our um question we are asking the the llm agent okay and remember the agent is coming from toolkit so I'm going to run this. I'm not sure if the API key is correct, but if it's wrong, I'm going to put a new one in there. So I'm going to run this. So entering new agent executor chain. So as you can see the results, we have the results. So he said, what I need to write a single. So he repeated the question. And then he said he needs to take the action Python repo. The input is what um, import torch. He knew he has to use uh, PyTorch. So he, it imported torch. And then he defined a model using the sequential ap approach with one input and one output using the linear layer. And then a new, it's a linear regression model. So it's using the MSC loss. And then it's using the stochastic gradient with a learning rate of 0 .0, um, 0 0.01. And then because we asked it to generate synthetic data, it generated X train and then Y train. Okay, so the X train is from one to six and then the y train is from two to 12. And then it also took into consideration that 1000 epoch and then passing the x train through the model, got a prediction and then if computed the loss and then it prints every 100 uh, epoch. Um, it prints the loss for every 100 epoch. And then this zero out the gradient and then it does the backward propagation and then updates the optimizer or the weights. And um, the final, it started with this loss 0 0.1015 and then it went down um, to 1000 and then the loss was 0, 0 0.001, which was minimized. This is the minimized loss. And it, it said what well, I have trained the model and can now use it to make prediction. So because we asked it to use X is equal to seven, make a prediction on that using the model, it passed in uh, seven, X is equal to seven through the model and then it got a prediction. And then finally knew the answer to be what seven. So Y is equal to two X. If you pass in two times seven, is what 14. So that is the final answer. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.